Now, you now join me on the Aquatrol stand, and I'm standing with uh, Mick Fance, who's the European uh, Account Manager. That's correct. Third time lucky, got yep. that right. And uh, how's it been for you so far, Mick? Well, What's I've talked to a few people today, and um, everyone at the trade shows are always saying, what a great day it's been, what a great day it's been. But I can honestly say, the show's been fantastic for us, Good. which is, no, the IOG have been excellent, they've got fantastic people here, broad spectrum of people, but for us as a business, it's our third year here, and really we just had a presence the first two years. Yeah. This year we've been a bit more proactive, we've got interactive demonstrations, and we're just featuring five products which we think are more applicable to the audience, really. Well, let's test you out in those five products then. Thanks for that. <laughs> right. Go. One. Attain. Yep. Zip line. Uh -huh. Revolution, yep. Aqueduct Flex, Dispatch Spryable. You win the prize. Thank you very much. <laughs> and that's giving, giving uh, turf managers a range of products to help them solve the problems that they have in their, in their, under their soil. Absolutely. I, um, I was lucky to be invited to a presentation on the Learning Live yesterday, and it was just an overview of soil surfactant technology. So people often refer to wetting agents. The wetting agents are really just a subsection of a whole range of products that can change the behaviour of water and soil and we invented them in the 1950s so if you want to learn anything about it hopefully people will come to us. You're the people they come to. Absolutely. Wonderful. So what we're looking at here is the difference between hydrophobic soils and dry soils mm -hmm. because a lot of greenkeepers and groundsmen will see dry soils and then just throw water on or a surfactant but what, I, what we advocate is before we have, uh, before we, we start doing any products or putting any water down, yeah. just do a simple experiment. Take your core out yeah. and do a droplet test. Is this with water? This is just pure water. Uh -huh. Now, if that stays around for a minute, mm -hmm. then you're looking at now, it's now hydrophobic. Okay? okay? So if we look at an area that, say, has been treated, The water will go disappears in much much quicker. straight in. That bit there is hydrophobic. That bit there is not hydrophobic. So let's get a piece of soil, hydrophobic soil, and it's sitting on top. And it's sitting on top. Now you could water that for a long time, and the water's just shedding off, and that's when we have hydrophobic dry patch. Yeah. So you get a quality surfactant. And the water just, but it goes to where we want it, yeah. into the soil. Now what's really important is there is a philosophy that if we aerate and water, then the water will go down. Yeah. But if we aerate hydrophobic soils, so let's pretend this is a tine hole. Yeah. We're just aerated yeah. and we fill it full of water. All we're doing is filling the air pockets with, with water, water. No and what we want is a water to air ratio, where we want the water on the, so on the soil and the air in the air spaces, <laughs> in, the, in the cracks and all the little, yeah. whereas that, we're just filling in, yeah. filling the gap. treat it with a bit of surfactant, <laughs> and it disappears. So one more time. Water, if it's treated with surfactants, we're here. Nice. Well, um, we've seen the demonstration. Uh, Paul showed us the demonstration there. Um, fantastic. Busy stand here. So I'm not going to take up any more of your time, Mick. So thank you very much for joining us on Turf Matters TV.